Welcome to Talking Heads on USA Global TV, starring the one and only wonderful Dr. Jacqueline. It's a prestigious place where world-class influencers and experts meet, and where you'll find the most trusted advisors and coaches for all things in life and business. Visit usaglobaltv.com to sign up for our newsletter, get the value you need, and be first in line to learn about events and giveaways and other valuable content. Connect with us. Email Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com to talk about how you can become part of USA Global TV. That's USA Global TV, where the doctor is always in. Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to USA Global TV and radio. I'm Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck, and our show today is Talking Heads. Talking Heads is a platform where experts from around the world come and share their knowledge, their expertise in their own 30-minute show. Joining us today from New Zealand, she knows how much I love to say that, is my friend, my own coach, my personal business coach, and a big part of what we do here at USA Global TV. She's a co-host, a talking head, and an elevated listener. Let's welcome Mariska Dupree to the show. How are you? Hello. How are you? And how are all our listeners and viewers today? I would love to know. Well, we've had a very busy day, packed full of shows mm. and everyone just keeps getting better and better. I just am so proud of everyone on the team and also all of the wonderful guests who come and visit us and then come and visit us again. It's fantastic. <gasps> See, we know we're doing something right when they come and visit us again and again and again. So true. <laughs> so true. So I am going to put up your deck when you're ready. I'll go backstage mm -hmm. and I'll be taking notes. So have a great show. It's all about you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it is actually today all about our listeners and viewers. And Fantastic. I hope that we can get some value added in our communication in our lesson for today. All right. Have a good one. Okay. So as I mentioned, today's lesson is around communication and having effective communication. So when we go to our slides, we will see our effective communication starts out with having some intention and attention. So Deepak Chopra has a quote that says, attention energizes, intention transforms. So throughout this series, I want us to take this as one of those guiding threads throughout so we will focus on the attention and intention within our communication and this will help us to make our communication more effective so the thing that we will be looking at today is the heart of our communication and before we dive into that i thought i would share a little video with you guys so we can see how communication might sometimes go. Let's see, play. So, oh, hold on, wasn't supposed to be doing that. We don't want to listen to it again. Um, so seeing that communication, we noticed that there was a few things that happened within that that caused miscommunication. Now, there's some interesting studies that um, Dr. Jackson and Dr. Dr. Van der Hoof also did within email communication. 
And what they found is when we're focusing on our part of the communication and not thinking about what other people might perceive or the way that the communication might go over uh, with them, we have a tendency to fall into the miscommunication trap. And of course, once we're in the miscommunication trap, it is a bit tricky to get out of it because miscommunication actually breeds more miscommunication. So the way for us to help us to avoid the miscommunication trap is to think about three different things within our communication to ensure that we have a more complete um, communication framework that we can work around to help us communicate clearly. So the first one is values. And with values, what we are trying to think about is what is important in this piece of communication that we are going to be interacting with. Then the next one is purpose. And yeah, we're looking at what outcome it is that we either require from the communication or that we want to get from the communication. And then the last one is meaning. And with meaning, we're looking at the big picture. So seeing how our communication is both for us as a team, the organization, the community, or even if it is more global than even that. So thinking about these three things within our communication helps us to make it clear. And by making it clear, we, of course, avoid the miscommunication. Thinking of the Coast Guard, I mean, normally when I'm going to phone in to the Coast Guard or radio the Coast Guard, I'm not going to talk about things that I am thinking about. There's most probably going to be some action <laughs> required. Uh, in this case, they were actually sinking. So it might be very prudent to take into consideration where we are, but also where the other person is that we are communicating to or the team that we might be communicating to. So to illustrate this, I thought I would share a bit of a case study with you guys today. So this is a situation that one of my clients were in. And what happened is they had a big project. And as with project, they planned it very well to start off with. And of course, stuff happened in the middle. And there was stuff that didn't quite work out the way that they wanted it to work out. So my client needed to speak to some of their team members and they needed to come up with a strategy to get the project back on track and to mitigate for the things that happened that they didn't foresee that might happen. So when we went through this exercise, what we did was the following. So firstly, I asked my client, what was important about this communication to them? What was it that, what value did they want to bring into this communication? Why are they actually having this conversation? So they first said, well, I need to connect with my team. The project was so hectic that I feel that we haven't really had connected communication in the last about a month, uh, we were just trying to fight fires and we were sort of running around all over the place. So connection hasn't quite happened the way it's supposed to. And I feel my team really needs that connection. Then the next thing is kindness. Yes, it's a project. Yes, we are working towards the deadlines. We also need to be kind to ourselves and I want to show that the kindness within my team, um, even though we are driving for a specific outcome, 
and working to a very, very tight deadline, I also want to ensure that we stay kind to one another and we have some element of kindness that comes through within our interactions. Because in times of high stress, I have found that some of my team members actually get a little bit abrasive. Um, so having that value of kindness communicated within this specific um, instance is very important. And then the last one was curiosity. So really coming in with a mindset of curiosity and the value of curiosity, bringing that to the conversation in order for us as a team not to blame each other and to be curious about one, the things that went wrong and also how we can get them so we can have the outcome that we are actually looking for. So that's the values that my leader wanted to bring to this conversation. So I said, okay, so we're taking into consideration that we want to have a connected conversation, we want to bring in kindness, and we want to stay curious within the space while we're having that conversation. So this is a very good first step. They, of course, made a few notes to remember that these were the values that they wanted to bring into the conversation and ensure that while they're having the conversation, they actually took a time and a breath to remember this. Then we moved on to the next thing, which was the purpose. So I asked my client what it was that they wanted to get out of this conversation that they had with their team. What was the main point or key thing that needed to come out of this conversation? Because a lot of times we go into conversations and there's so many things in our mind and on our plate that we need to discuss. Um, we try to jam everything into one piece of communication or one piece of conversation and it has a tendency to muddle everything that we're doing. So being sure that we know what the key element or the key takeaway is that we want from the conversation or even the key action that we want to take really helps us and the person or people that we're communicating with to ensure that we are clear as to what's the next step or what is it that we're actually getting from this conversation. So in this area, for my client, what they wanted to do is they needed to come up with a bit of a different strategy on how to take the next steps within their project to get it back on track. So just working more hours or uh, pushing, trying to push in the activities that they needed to do was not a feasible solution they actually needed to come up with a different strategy in order for them to be able to bring their timeline back into something that was a little bit more reasonable for the organization and for the project. So the, the key takeaway for them within this project was to ensure that they are clear on the strategy or direction that they wanted to take and establishing a next step. So they weren't focusing on all the steps that's required in order for them to implement it. They only wanted to have a clear view of it, one, and then two, taking that next step. So everybody is clear what we're going to do next. So this was the key takeaway that they came up with, and they made two little notes on these are the things that we need to have at the end of our conversation. And then lastly, we looked at the meaning. So when we think about conversations, the meaning I have for conversation and the meaning the other person have for the conversation might not always be exactly the same because we don't think the same. 
and we don't experience things exactly the same. So looking at the broader context uh, within our team, within our organization or within the system that we are working, having a look at how this contributes to the mission, right? That really helps us to reignite the passion and the vigor that we have within the context of what we're doing. So seeing how the purpose that we discussed just before actually drives into the mission that we have for the project and within the organization. So what we came up with there, my client really thought about the organization and the impact the project, the overall project has for the organization and how that was driving the organization's mission. So once they got clear on that view, it was easier for them to see for the different team members that they had within the conversation that they were planning, how those team members and their functions actually related to the overall mission. And because it became more clear on what the relationship was for each individual towards the mission of both the project and the organization's goals, um, it was a little bit easier to strategize around how to communicate the values and the purpose within this space so it also has meaning for each individual within the team. So they made little notes as to things to um, take into consideration within the meeting that actually had meaning for each individual separately. And this also then started to change the way that they thought about having the conversation. So initially, the thinking was, well, we need a strategy. And that's, that's basically it. So it's just going to be very pointed and my way or the highway type of instruction uh, communication. We are after going through this process, they came to the conclusion that there was a different way that they actually wanted to communicate with their team and also found that through using this principle of communication, looking at the values, looking at the purpose and looking at the meaning, it helped them to incorporate the individual team members' needs. And it also helped them to create a space that was safe for the team members in order to share the things that they needed to share to get the outcome that my team leader was looking for. So what we did in the end was draw up a little uh, template or a, a small little table um, because you don't necessarily need a lot of written things. And this is absolutely up to each individual. So for some people, they want to think through it. Uh, some people, the table works quite well. And for other individuals, they want to actually write down more verbatim what they want to say. I have found that in general, having a couple of notes to keep us on track. Remember, we started off with intention and attention. So this process is helping us with the intention we have with our meeting and communicating with our team. And then, of course, writing down all these little notes keeps our attention in play for the things that we want to discuss while we are having this conversation. So that helps us to have more effective communication. So what they looked at was the values for, for them. So they listed the three different values that they wanted to communicate. They looked at the values, how that needs to be communicated to their team members. So 
how their team members experienced curiosity and kindness and connection because we all experience those things a little bit different and we all appreciate it a little bit different uh, from person to person. So they knew their team well enough to understand how the values would be different for each one. And then also seeing how that would interact with the total environment and how the, the project was influencing the values at that point in time. And then, of course, with the purpose, they had the key point, which was getting a strategy or way, a direction way forward for how they wanted to continue. Um, and then the takeaway was the one step. And of course, then the action was the actual step. So planning a meeting for uh, getting more accurate points within the strategy was going to be the next step. And then lastly, the meeting, the, the meaning was the meaning for each individual. So the us is the individuals within the team, um, the meaning for the whole team as a group, and then the meaning within the organization as the other ones that they had a look at. And they made little notes as to how that can help them within their communication. And of course, needless to say, well, maybe not needless to say, um, my leader did come back afterwards and they had a fabulous meeting. It was really easy for them to communicate. They were able to do it succinctly. So because they thought through their process beforehand, it was easy for them to communicate it in a way that they actually wanted to communicate it and they had a great outcome coming up with some very innovative ideas of how to get the project back on track. So this is the very first step when we're thinking about doing our effective communication, looking at our values that we want to communicate, the purpose and the meaning. So during our lessons that's coming up, we will look at other elements that would help us to actually have effective communication within our teams, with other individuals, and in our communities. And that is then also the end of our lesson for today. Um, if you guys would like to have any other information on this or you would like to contact me you can do so at mariska at journey to discover.com so the two is the number two alternatively please connect with me on linkedin and you can give me a little private message saying that you found me on either our youtube channel uh, at usa global tv or on one of the other social channels where we also broadcast and we can connect and open the conversation. Thank you, Mariska. And I just want to add on to what you just said. We've had a number of people from around the world reaching out to us. It's amazing. The show we get backstage when you know with the co-host like you and the guest is there, and I assume that the guest knows the co-host, and we're finding out over and over again that there are people that are just coming to the platform. So we welcome everyone. Thank you for reaching out to everyone on our team. Please do go to Mariska's LinkedIn and do connect because we are forming collaborations and relationships that are permeating the world and we are making a difference. So thank you. It is a very exciting time for USA Global TV and radio. Yes, I is. actually listened to the radio uh, uh, so yesterday. What, what did you think? Oh, it was great. So I was typing away. I was busy with some work that I didn't need to have too much mental energy put into it. And I thought, well, while I'm doing that, I could just as well listen to the radio and listen what comes up. And there was some of our older shows that was still on the A Better You platform 
that came up while I was listening. So it was really great uh, listening to all of those different things that I actually forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, my understanding of the way that it works is when we're live streaming like now, people are mm -hmm. listening to what we have on now. When we're not on the platform, then older shows come into the rotation. So we've yeah. been broadcasting from when we were just, uh, when it was rapping with Dr. Jack. First, it was just me. And then it became rapping with Dr. Yes. Jacqueline and then USA Global TV. So it's been about 18 months, I think, altogether from the very beginning yeah. until until now so that's a lot of programming that we have out there that is a lot of programming that we've got out there and i mean even when we were in the previous platform i think you went to about a thousand shows was it Yes, it was. A, so that was a thousand radio shows on Business Talk Radio. Yeah. So just for clarification, we're on Business Talk Radio right now, which is mm -hmm. out of New York. And then we also have our own radio channels. So um, when we were just on Business Talk Radio, we had a thousand shows that were just on there. And of course, on this TV platform as well. And I think now I don't know what the number is for Business Talk Radio because we started there first. So they're obviously going to be more. Yeah shows on there but um we are over a thousand here as well on the television so i have to yeah i, I remember seeing on youtube it said over 1000 so uh, i'm not sure what the numbers are but like, we keep growing and doing i think wonderful things talking about subjects that are positive and inspirational and I, i'm going to spotlight you for just a minute because you were part of something that we hadn't done here yet which was the talking heads panel let me just find our little <laughs> graphic here and i'd love for you to share with the audience um here's our our panel um i'd love for you to share with the audience what that experience was like because you had not met the other people on mm -hmm. the platform. And so you didn't know what the topic was. And in fact, backstage, I mentioned three topics and I asked you all to vote and you all voted for the same one. And I said, great, we're not doing that. <laughs> so literally before I hit go live, <laughs> I told you we're changing the topic. So, uh, so tell our audience a little bit about that. And again, it was the talking heads panel. Diane had the day off and so did Al, so they weren't there, but we actually had Dr. David Shine join us as our special guest. So uh, tell our audience what that experience was like and what it meant to you. Well, for me, it was a fabulous experience. One, we got to, I got to meet people that I haven't met before. I think the only person on the panel that I have met before was Red. The other guys I have never met before. So that was very interesting to start off with. And as Dr. Jacqueline said, well, she set one top. She gave us an option of three topics. We picked one almost unanimously. And then Dr. Jacqueline put a spanner in the works, so to speak, and chose something quite different. Luckily, we were all sort of prepared for it. <laughs> understanding that that was a option of something that might happen um so for me looking at the diverse views around um what we all found within so the, the topic that we discussed was plastic and having so many diverse views around the way that we can actually handle this plastic problem that we are sitting with was for me one interesting and two there was quite a few things that i didn't think about before that actually came out of it so it was really really engaging and having these different views and experiences from what what happens around the world um, i think is really a great insight to have and something that roland also mentioned was the the effect of that emotional connectedness um, to the the topic that we discussed, and I recall Red mentioning the. Uh, I know in the US you guys have the uh, I think it is for six pack cool drinks that they are connected with plastic rings. So he saw a bird before that actually got one of those rings around its neck. 
And of course, I don't think the bird survived it. So he snips them up into little pieces. And that reminded me of something that happened for me is we back in South Africa, um, the, the food that you get for your, your dog food, there's a piece of string that normally closes the top of the dog food bag. Now, it's not a plastic string. It's just a normal string. But this piece of string, so what we normally do is we rip the string off. You are able to open the bag, so it's nice and easy, and you put the string in the trash. So the one piece of string actually blew away one day. And a while later, I found the piece of string also around a bird. So the bird actually took the piece of string. They most probably wanted to build a nest with it. And they got tangled up because it was quite a long piece of string. So after that, I per very purposefully ensured that I would tie up the string into a bit of a bundle so that the animals won't use it within their own processes. And I think that is, for me, something that came through within our conversation, that there's different things that we need to take into consideration within our own processes that would help others, other human beings, and the animal kingdom. Thank you for sharing that. It, it really brings it home because many people have pets. Many people drink sodas or some type of liquid in containers that has the that plastic around it and it's really dangerous so i hadn't thought of that either until red mentioned it or even what you just mentioned about the yeah. that uh, strip so just to let you know as a continuation from where we were yesterday roland mm -hmm. was filling in for who was it diane because she has the day off it's her birthday and we actually <laughs> interviewed ian Pelham Turner. And we talked to him about the fact that we want to have a show about saving the planet and cleaning things up. And he gave us a lot of great advice. And then Roland reached out to someone, I think he's a biologist, and he wants to be on the show. So just from yesterday, we're all coming together to, to start a new project where we all can make a difference and we can do it immediately. Wow. See, and that is the power of this platform. It's not only education, it is also collaboration. Yes. And helping people to get together in a way that we can make a difference. It's so true. Um, and one thing I'll share, because it's been a learning lesson for me, I remember, and I'm not going to say who it is, but it, in another channel where I was, uh, there was a lot of emphasis on not collaborating and not sharing and not cross promoting and that really stood out to me and i i figured that it was based on fear and when i started this platform i encountered that only once with someone but as far as i'm concerned and you know this i want people to call one another i love when someone says hey i just got off the phone with some other team member i didn't even know they were connected i'd love it i think it's great because that's what it's about it's about connecting people so that we can help each other help one another help our communities help the world and we can only do that by reaching out it's not by keeping everything close this is mine no it's everyone's i just get the bills <laughs> <laughs> And it's my pleasure. <laughs> so uh, I do want to share that we're going to have future panel shows. I think we talked about once a month, didn't we? Yes. 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 That's the plan. So, yeah. So that's the plan. And this particular uh, panel is for talking heads. It's uh, sort yeah. of a, a little, I don't want to say it's a, it's it's included i'm putting it into the package now with talking heads i hadn't actually thought of it before but why not you guys are experts and i just learned so much from each of you and i loved how nobody over talked anyone else nobody cut mm -hmm. anyone off it was very respectful yes it was a very respectful conversation and i think what i also found within the conversation that it was building so the one uh, idea or the one concept was building on the next, on the next, on the next. 
And that is what collaboration is, is that ability to build on one idea or one concept. It certainly is. Well, thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. I actually have an, an appointment at the Apple store for a battery issue I have. So. <laughs> so that is one I cannot miss. But Mariska, I'm going no. to spotlight you again and just share your contact information if you could. And who would you like to reach out to? Okay. So contact information, you guys can get hold of me. Mariska at journey to the number two discover.com. So that's my email address. Or alternatively, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. And there it's Mariska D. For some odd reason, <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't spell the rest of my surname. So when you look for me, Mariska, and then just the D with the full stop uh, uh, afterwards. So that would be me. <laughs> Please do connect. All right. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure seeing you, and I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Are we on this Sunday? No, it's next Sunday. This Sunday is Easter. Next Sunday. All right. This Sunday is, this weekend is Easter weekend. Yes, so it is. So for those of happy you guys Easter. that celebrate, happy Easter, and I hope that you feel quite rejuvenated after having a nice long weekend. <laughs> I do as well. All right, Mariska, thank you again. Great show. Thank you. And I will see you guys again next week. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, if you would just click subscribe, it would mean so much. We have literally thousands of people who are watching our shows and haven't subscribed yet. So we want to hear from you. We would love for you to subscribe and be informed about all of our programs. And why not? You can be a guest on our shows. You can go over to our website, usaglobaltv.com. Book your session. Okay. They are all of our shows for today. As I mentioned, I have to run to an appointment. We'll be back tomorrow. And of course, Friday, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. We're glad to have you here. And to what we discussed earlier, you can listen to our shows even when we're not broadcasting. So you can go over to mytuner, M-Y-T-U-N-E-R radio.com on your device, or you can go to your app store and you can download my tuner radio and you can listen to us 24 7 you can have the radio right next to your ear and you can hear me talking to you. it's dr jacqueline it's dr jack <laughs> just kidding don't listen to the radio when you're sleeping okay you want to have uninterrupted sleep thank you so much again thank you mariska and thank you to all of you we really appreciate you i'll see you tomorrow our first show is Da, da, da. Let me look it up. I think it's the corner. Oh, no, it's um, What's Trending. What's Trending with Kathy Fulton, followed by Kathy Fulton's Talking Heads. And after that, we have the Corner Bookstore. Then we have the Film and Music Show. Then we have the Wise Ones. And then we have Talking Heads with Red O'Laughlin. Okay, I get an A for that. Thank you. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye.